Cancer Awareness Month, and on Saturday, the Komen Race for the Cure will take place at World's Fair Park. Mike is with one of the teams this morning and the organizer of Komen Knoxville. Good morning. Yeah, good morning to you. Yeah, you were joined by a breast cancer survivor, Ashley Guthrie Baker, and she's uh, helped bring back a longtime team from Westminster Presbyterian Church. And of course, everybody knows Amy Dunaway with Komen Knoxville. Good morning, ladies. How are we this morning? Awake. Awake. <laughs> it is a bit on the early side, isn't it? Is this too early for you? That's okay. My we're kids are still sleeping. Well, we're preparing for, you know, the weekend, right? For right. Saturday. Yes. That's, right. that's the goal. We're preparing for Saturday. Yes. Uh, first of all, uh, let's, let's talk about your story a little bit. Uh, you are months away from, uh, from, from recovery, really. Right, right. I went for my annual mammogram in January, and um, they said, oh, well, we need to do an ultrasound. I'm like, oh. Okay, that's fine. That's normal. Well, we can come back and let's do um, a biopsy. We're, and I'm thinking, God, this is just how they get their insurance money. You know, <laughs> so this you is had a scam. no idea. Yeah. You were not even like no. this was not even on the radar. No, oh. it wasn't. And wow. then they so I get I get the call and uh, you know MRI and the whole shebang and it was a real comedy routine getting the the, the biopsy and the MRI. <laughs> but because um, you put parts of your body in holes that you didn't think mm. were created in machines and um, <laughs> so, so, yes. so they called back and said well, you've, you've got cancer I'm like no way I'm like seriously I'm getting ready to go do you know a, a race I'm gonna go do a play I got they're like no this you is need January the this was January right, okay. yeah so then I scheduled um, my double mastectomy on uh, February 9th and so that's when that happened. And then slowly went through the reconstruction process and my final surgery for um, the robo boobs were, uh, <laughs> was um, in May. Okay. So I, I- That was quick. Yeah. I mean, you went from like- Yeah. Not it, even a clue to just bam, bam, bam. Right. But you, got, you seem like you have a great attitude about it. Well, uh, it's, it feels really good to not be dead. And uh, it I'm feels, sure. you know, it makes you really, I mean, I've certainly had my, uh, you know, anger and right. my frustration and sorrow, but uh, my mother's also a survivor. It turns out mine was more aggressive or was further along yeah. than, than hers. And she's a f survivor for about 25 years now. Um, but there's so many women who um, also have to, I mean, did you know how many types of breast cancer there are? I mean, it's not just one. No, there's I mean, there's lots, no, yeah. I didn't feel a lump. Right. You know, I didn't feel bad. I didn't feel like I had cancer, you know? Right. Um, so it's, it's I, I just, at this point, I feel fortunate, and I know Good. that um, we need to get the word out there for women to have mm -hmm. their mammograms. Absolutely. And, uh, and be that's what this month's all about. Right. I mean, and that's what we're doing is raising money for this weekend, which, by the way, is Race for the Cure. Real that's quick, right. let's talk about that. Sure. Saturday, October 27th, you can still register that's online. That's this Saturday, by the way. That is this Saturday. You can still register online at comateast10.org, and we'll be at the mall Thursday and Friday. You can do packet pickup there or register. You can still come out Saturday morning and register, or you can watch you shoot off the gun at 8.30. You can sleep yeah. in the gear. We're going to be broadcasting it live right here on Channel That's 10. That's right. Ladies, thank you so much for coming in here this morning. You're welcome. Anything else you want to pass along real quick? A weird, um, yeah. Westminster Presbyterian yes, Church yes, yes, yes. Is, has a long time had a, uh, a team for uh, Race for the Cure for going on about 20 years now. Yeah. And so we have brought that back um, and they named a team in honor in of your me. In honor. Yeah. yeah, that is Thanks. so fantastic. Congratulations. Thank you. Get better and we'll see you Saturday. Yes, absolutely. Okay. So you better give me a shout out, you know. <laughs> oh, I will. I will. Okay, we're going to be talking about that forecast. Let's go ahead and highlight that forecast right now.